they drink water, they need to drink milk. Well, I fix some protein shake. Ew, nasty. No. That's what you're you drinking. Well, if I now, drink that, it's now, nasty and I'm now. I'm losing no, weight. This is my time. Well. My time when I want to do it and then you supposed to heed to it and be to the strict schedule. You know what? Forget Period. you. Forget you. I'm going to get you back. Hello and welcome to our channel. Forget the argument. That's what husbands and wife do. That's why I get to make up for it right now. See? He is doing that, and seriously, it's annoying, but forget that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> my name is Hafsat Maina Muhammad, and this is my husband. Today, I'm not going to say my loving husband, even though he is. This is my husband, James Tillman. Oh, God. And, of course, it's showing off that because I don't have it, but I'm going to make it. I'm going to do it. One day, I'm going to do this video on the tank top. So, be on the lookout. Just He's having a ball today, trust me. He's having a ball today because I'm the most sweetest wife on earth. But, he's gonna get it. Come on, what are we doing today? Today we're gonna do what I wanna do. And that's whatever I wanna do. And that's just putting it together to be the most painful way as possible so I can see her limping around here all day <laughs> and then her being angry and I can just sit back, relax, Play my game while I like to do on my phone. She yes, and that's what we do. were arguing about. Okay, he was so, on his game even though yeah. he was supposed to train me. You know, I you have to be concentrated. You know, I can't focus on two things like that. But you know, you're supposed to be training so can, me, not being on your game. I can do both. You know, I'm that good. I can sit, watch, and tell her to do it and still be on my game. But I won't do that because oh, I'm, I'm, I'm giving everything. my attention to you all and really not her. You right are now. so irritating. Okay. So, the first thing we're going to do is she's going to do a step up. But stepping up on this little box can be tricky, but I agree that she probably should be able to do it. But along with this step up, she's not only going to just step up on it, she's going to step back, and then she's going to give me a lunge. So we're going to do two things at once. Okay, now, let's go. Step up, step back, this leg go back. Nope, we need it now. We need to stretch that leg up. There you go, and go back. Now we want our hands up in the air for balance. There you go. Now, Step back up with your right leg again. This is not balance. Step up. Step down. Step back. That's two. Go on, keep going. We're going to eight. Need some coordination. Coordination. Step back. Three. Good. Step back up. Step back down. Four. Good. Keep going. Not too bad. We need to work on her stability and mobility as well as her balance, but we get it. I'll, I'll stay out. I'll stay out. There you go. Six, two more. Seven. One more. Eight. Okay, now switch. Other leg. What? Other leg. It's two legs. We have two legs, not just one. Step up, step back, lunge. Okay, step back up, step, nope, step up with the left leg. The left leg goes up, now the right leg comes down, and the left leg goes right back into that lunge. Two, okay, again. You see how she's wobbling? Most people think that all have, nope, right? Okay. <laughs> There you go. Back. Zara, get on. Left leg. Zara, I want to see you do this. Oh, Zara is my daughter. She's laughing at me. This is eight. No, it's nowhere to eight. That's five. My arms hurt. And we're not even doing arms. Is that something? <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Can I drop my arm? No. <laughs> Six. For you, I like no, no, buddy. Okay, we're gonna say it's eight because I lost count somewhere along. Now. now she's gonna do a dumbbell squat. So now I'm just gonna move the chair over just a little bit. Put these dumbbells right here. Now these are 15 pound dumbbells. We went up for the five. 
Right. Like I said, I have plenty more equipment to use. As you can see, wrapped around, I still have more. Okay, so My now you're going to sit water. in front. No water. Oh. No water till we finish the circuit. Ooh. Okay, now I want you to sit first. Remember how this is, this is a lot lower than that chair. Sit. Okay, good. Now, put bring the legs out. Can I catch my breath? No, we're not supposed to. Remember, we're trying to burn fat. Okay, now pick up the dumbbells, hold them in your hand. These are heavy. Okay. Okay, now and I want you to stand. I'm cold. <laughs> That's one. Now just go down. You ain't got to necessarily sit, but just go down, come up. There you go. Two. We're going to 12 on these. Now I switched it up from the, the the fixed bar that we have with the weight to give her more options and also to give you all more options if you decide to follow some of these workouts at home. These are called a dumbbell squat. And the only thing I will have to correct her here because there she goes. She just corrected herself. You don't want to lean forward, put a lot of unnecessary stress on your back. The only thing we're doing here is she's shifting her hips back. She's sitting down and she's trying to keep push from her heels and not the balls of her feet. 12. 15. Ah, you said 12. Change my mind. <laughs> Please. Three more. Three more. <laughs> See, that's what I get to do as a trainer. 13. It looked too easy for her. 14. <laughs> and 15. And sit them down. Watch your feet. Okay, now the most fun part about this now, like I said, we have to do something that's going to get her heart rate up even more. At this point in time, I'm going to tell her to do the most basic exercise that everyone knows how to do, and it's going to bother her because she already said her answer. I want 25 jumping jacks. <laughs> so, 25 jumping jacks. And let's go. Won't y'all count with me while I count? One, two, three, four, Why am I looking five, you? six. Now, at this point in time, because I'm watching the way she feels, usually, like I said, when we train it like this, it's usually between 90 seconds to 120 seconds of rest. Right now, I'm going to give her a full three minutes. Pause it, dog. She can cut the pause. Step up, lunge, hands out, and off your legs, back, one. Let's get down in that lunge. We're going to get down in that reverse lunge. It's working them hamstrings as well as working the booty. Hey. I don't need no more booty. My Man. booty is perfect. You know, it's not all about you though right now. If you want your viewers to be able to benefit from your workouts, then we want to do workouts that can benefit from them. Even though I'm sure some people may not have, may not want booty, may not need more, but some may do. So let's cater to everyone. My booty is... Watch your step. Stop focusing. Per if you can talk, that means it's not hard enough. No, it is. If she can talk, that means it's not hard I'm enough. I'm just trying to get, and that's seven. And this is eight. Okay, switch. Other side. This is like one. One step up with our left leg because we want our left leg to go back when we Two. come up with the left leg. Then right back down. Go down with the left. Three. Take your time. Left leg up. Right leg down. Right leg go down first. Then left leg go back. Four. Four. Left leg up. Right leg come down. Left leg go right back into the nun. Five. There you go. Come on. Yeah. To all the viewers, this is what happens when you Six. actually don't take care of yourself. Where health is very beneficial. We're not, I'm not talking about half that at this Seven. moment. I'm talking about how valuable health and exercising is. As we know right now, the pandemic is going on. A lot of things can happen. Eight. So home workouts can be very good for you. As well as strengthening the immune system. 
helping you stay focused, and then we don't get totally insane from being in the house, being able not to do anything. Don't let our children worry about <coughs> how to. Let's get right to it. You just have to stay consistent, you just have to focus, and you can accomplish your goals. Fitness is for everyone. Fitness is not limited. There's different levels of fitness that you can achieve and you can also shoot for. Six. Right now, I put her somewhere in the meet in the middle because she's been mean to me. Eight. So I'm eight? Fifteen, remember? No, it's, it's six. fifteen. It's fifteen. It's in the ring. And you might think I'm harsh, but honestly, this is how I would be. This is how I train myself. This is how I train my little brother. This is how I train my older brother. So, to accomplish 14. your goals, you have to push yourself. 14. And 15. Okay, down. Now we need them 25 jumping jacks. Can I do 20, please? No, no. 25 jumping jacks. Remember, whatever number we set, we always want to achieve that number. 25. Let's go. And the bit, and if you notice, so this is the most basic exercise that one can do. We did this as children when we played little weed games. But now these jumping jacks thing got a lot harder because we done incorporated other exercises to make this hard. Just listen to her breathe. Forget the fact that we told you at the beginning that she suffered from asthma. This is going to strengthen her lungs. Come on, 17, 17. Uh oh. Hold on, 17. One, two, three. Step up. Uh, five. And this is sincerely, since I can see that this is a lot stressful for her. Instead of three minutes rest, at this time, I will give her five minutes rest. And also, this was our second round, but because I see that I pushed her to a point, I take off the third round so we can get into the next exercises that will come around and pause on. Okay, welcome back. That was my five minutes break. I took it. I wisely took it. Hey, she had to go poop. I did not poop. I need <laughs> you know, this TMI. Is, this is what good exercise to make. It gets the system running. It gets this flowing. So that's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. She I peed. Okay. And he is doing way too much TMI. And guess what, you all? Why? That's how I know it was five minutes. I actually got to play my game while I was waiting on her. I just love it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do... Basically, like I said, she said she don't need no booty, but we can always make the booty tighter. So, we're going to do a straight leg deadlift, which she should be very good at because she don't like to bend down a lot anyway. The proper form will be to hinge at your knees, let your hips go back, and then bend forward. Mm -hmm. So, we want our legs to stay straight, then back stay straight, but since this is lower to the ground, my back is going to round a little bit so I can pick it up, but then we go up and pick it up like that. So as we hinge back, you feel it all in your glutes and your hamstrings, then you come up. If you notice, I didn't go all the way down to the floor because I felt right where my back was about to round, but I felt my boot, my glutes and my hips, as well as my hamstrings contract, then I came up. This is the exercise she's about to do. As you can see, we've added weight. So now she had 60 pounds from that 50 pound day that she was performing in the last episode. Okay. So, how many am I doing? We're going to do eight. One, two. I told you she'd be a natural. Most women are very good at this exercise because they can feel their, boot, their booties and they feel it well. Six. Seven. seven eight. eight. Good. And, and for the next exercise, because if you notice, we didn't do anything for the upper body today. So we're going to do something. Wasn't the jumping jacks for the upper body? We have 10 pound dumbbells this time. So now with the 10 pound dumbbells, what I'm going to have her to do, because I'm not really done working on them legs yet. So we're going to have her to lunge forward. I'm done. Come back. <laughs> press. Lunge forward. Come back. Press. Now, as you can see, 
she has 20 additional pounds with this lunge now. Now going forward and going backwards is two different things. We're doing how many? So let's turn around, go forward so you can look at the camera. So they can see the expressions on your face. No. Okay, we're gonna do five on each leg. I'm not gonna be the vindictive husband right now. Mm. So we're gonna yeah, lunge forward, right. remember to lunge. Keep your chest up, go down, step up, prep, press. One, back down, step up, two. Now the objective is try to lean down without pushing your knees forward and getting your hips down. There you go. See, she can do it. Three. Four, remember, don't push your knees forward. Just step out and go straight down. And down. And five. And switch, other side. One. Now to finish it off, we want our cardio exercise. So I'm gonna take a dime off of here because I don't want her to use five pounds. I want her to use 10 pounds. So basically what she's gonna do is she's gonna pretty much be running in place while pushing this up. Now the good thing about this is she's gonna do this for a whole 30 seconds. A whole 30 seconds that I will be counting. And go. The most basic exercise we can do for cardio in our house, as well as now, hold now down to your chest, back up, down to your chest, back up. Now, if you want to be more advanced with this, you can hike the knees to your chest. Hike the knees to your chest. While you're doing that, you can work your lower abs. Boy, your husband's watching. Y'all can see I have no mercy. Jack, keep going. Up, up, up. Keep going. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ten seconds. 10 seconds, 10 seconds, five, four, three, two, one. And now just for you all to know, that will be a wrap because of the fact I pushed her so hard, I don't want her to be overtrained. Not because I feel pity for her, but because I am a genuine trainer and like I said, I've been separated our marriage towards this working out thing. So this is how I would really legitimately treat a client when I see they've been pushed too hard, at this point in time, I will probably put them down, let them do cool down exercises, maybe some abs, maybe some stretching. But what she wants to do, she wants to drink some water and lay on the couch. So no, here's I don't. half set. I just need you to stretch my legs. That's all. Because it's, you know what? I'm not saying nothing. I, you know, it's not worth it fighting with him. It's really not worth it fighting with him. So at the end of the day, he got what he wanted and that's perfect. Okay, and on that note, see he's showing off. You know what? I don't have this time, for real, for real. And on that note, we are going to see you next time in our next video. And I promise you, you stick with us and you're going to see as far as I go. If I make it or if I don't. But I am crossing my fingers and praying to Allah that I make it because I really need this for my health. You can see how terrible I'm doing because I don't work out, you know. About most part of what I do is take care of the babies, you know, and I go out and all of that. But I'm not into working out. So this is just like unfiltered, beginner friendly workout if you want to call it that you know and uh, i have this trainer he's the best trainer i know but you know he gets on my last nerves because he's my husband and he tries to get me back from the workout that's why i was having it hard today but it's okay i got it i'm house Maria muhammad subscribe like comment ask questions and stay with us 
please invite your friends to like our page and our videos and we'll keep the content coming for your pleasure and